Hi everyone, gosh, what a difference a week makes. I'm actually filming this on Tuesday actually before I put it out on Saturday, just timings, etc. Um, I dread to think what's going to be happening by Saturday. Anyway, um, sending you all lots of virtual hugs and support. And this week, I'm not sure whether some of you follow me on Instagram or not, so I kind of wanted to sort of do a double film because it's something that I put out quite sort of quickly on Instagram because I was horrified by so many of the images of the poor nurses and doctors um, with the bruising and the friction marks on their complexions and how working in hot, dry environments is causing their various skin conditions to come out, whether it's psoriasis or rosacea or making their acne worse or just generally making their decent skin um, hugely uncomfortable. So I felt that I wanted to sort of help in some way. So long and short of it is, I, I spoke to Dr. Sam Bunting um, and she's a leasing um, dermatologist in London. And I said, please Sam, if these people came to you, what advice would you give them? Affordable advice that they can just order something um, online and be able to kind of do something to their routine. And her advice was brilliant. Um, and sometimes you just need that, don't you? Sometimes you just need someone to go, right, this is what you need to do. So if you want to hear Sam's advice from the horse's mouth, then please click through to Instagram and you can watch the film there. And I'm just going to go through the products that I don't have every single product to show you to camera. If I'm clever enough, I'll try and snap in, or I've got time enough to snap in a picture of the product so that you can visually see it. But rest assured, everything will be in the description box. That's the little triangle. If you just click on the triangle, everything will be listed there. Um, so you can see a clear list of all the products I've recommended. The reason is I don't have all of these products to me at home. Um, I'm doing this quite quickly. I haven't had time to prepare for it because the people that I talk to on Instagram, um, it's a slightly different um, region. Most of them are in London and the UK, not so many around the world, but I know that I've got some amazing, wonderful followers in Switzerland, America, Australia, Canada, and I appreciate all your messages and it kind of blows my mind that I can speak um, uh, to such a, a, a wide, worldwide audience. Anyway, oh, that's the door. One second. Oh, right. Sorry about that. Where were we? Um, so, this is the information that I, I compiled or got from Sam, um, was mainly for the doctors and nurses, but there are obviously so many people um, that are working and wearing masks, maybe not in the same intense, dry um, surroundings. Um, and most of us are wearing masks as well, and I don't know how long this is going to go on for. So I thought I would just do a kind of, just sort of simplified um, film on what to consider if you have to wear a mask to work. Um, I just felt it, I found Sam's advice really reassuring and overall it was like to strip everything back. So put your actives, put the retinols, the vitamin A's, the vitamin C's just to the side for a second if your skin is irritated. And I'm not talking maybe about a daily antioxidant in a serum, I'm talking about maybe a strong high percentage vitamin C. If your skin is irritated then strip it right back. And actually, because, especially if you're working in healthcare, the environments are incredibly dry. So this is not a time where you'd actually use hyaluronic acid because hyaluronic acid is a humectant and it takes the moisture from its surroundings and there is no moisture in the air. So you really want to focus on your hydration and keep it very simple. So the products that Sam has recommended are from Aven, CeraVe, uh, La Roche-Posay, um, Lanolips, Dr. Lip, really across the board affordable products and Dr. Sam also has her own range. This isn't a big sell for Dr. Sam's range at all, she would hate it if that was the case. Her range is also affordable and brilliant and I've sent many clients of mine to Sam, especially if they've had stress-related acne, middle-aged acne, she has a huge waiting list and she knows her stuff about um, reforming the moisture barrier of your skin so that your skin is allowed to function properly. So for the cleanser, Sam recommends CeraVe. It's a brilliant brand, it's an American brand developed by dermatologists. Um, I think this retails at around about nine pounds in the UK. Um, both of the cleansers um, she's recommended and I personally recommend her cleanser for this. It is one of my favorites. I'm sure I've mentioned it before on my channel. 
Use a cleanser that is non-foaming, without fragrance. That's the most important thing. And these products both clean the skin without causing any excess dryness, which would therefore cause irritation to your skin. And the other tips that Sam said was use tepid water. And if your skin is super sensitive, don't even use a flannel. Maybe just do two gentle wash, it washes with the cleanser in tepid water and then just pat dry. So that's really good advice because you might think that some cleansers are really nourishing, but they're packed full of fragrance and that fragrance will irritate an irritated skin. Sorry, I'm just going to turn that little noise off there. Um, so that's really key. That's the first thing. Um, secondly, moisturizing. So I did say to her, if you um, are working in a hospital, maybe you want to, when you have your lunch break, you just rewash your face again and then re-add the moisturizer just to kind of keep rehydrating your skin. But she said, no, just cleanse twice a day, morning and night and then add your moisturiser on. Now she recommended, again from CeraVe, and I don't have the products here because I can't get to a shop. Um, they had little stock um, where I would normally buy them and the PRs are very, very kindly trying to source some products because part of the Instagram um, piece that I did, I'm trying to collect 10 goodie bags or so of this whole program of products that I can give to NHS workers. Um, this seems like a nice thing to do, something that I'm hopefully able to do, but obviously everyone's working from home, and as you know, because we're all living in the same boat here, that it's not that easy. Um, so CeraVe has two products. They have a moisturising cream and a moisturising lotion. Sam recommends using the moisture lotion in the day and then the moisture cream at night. Obviously, if you've got very oily skin, you probably won't want to buy the cream at all. Um, it is very rich, but it's really, really hydrating. And she said that if you have a break at lunchtime, then maybe rehydrate, keep the moisture levels of your skin high. That is going to be the best thing to protect the moisture barrier of your skin. And if that's functioning properly, that makes life so much easier for your skin. As for actives, um, Sam said, please keep them at a minimum. But what you need, to, especially to kind of reinforce the hydration, is to use something like squalene. Now squalene is an, it gives an occlusive barrier to the skin. So it maintains that moisture in your skin the whole day. So that's a really, really good active to do. Niacinamide is also amazing because it's super healing. And again, it really works on restoring and protecting the moisture barrier of your skin. Azaleac acid. And the other one was um, ceramides. Ceramides, obviously, like the brand CeraVe, are really important in kind of like, someone described it once which I thought was quite visually satisfying, the sort of like concrete between your skin cells. So it just kind of, it's the glue of your skin and it just keeps everything in place. It's not scientific at all, but it helped me understand what ceramides do. Now there are products like The Ordinary and The Inky List that do really affordable skincare depending on what you want and I just think that's quite a nice way to do it. When you have a mask on also you're breathing, breathing a lot of dry air and you get very thirsty and your lips get very very dry and again it's all about using products that don't irritate. Um, actually there is a film that's due to come out, it's been due to come out, I filmed it in uh, end of January that hasn't come out yet because other, other more valuable ones keep popping in. Um, and it's about lip products that don't irritate your lips because so many of us, unbeknown to us, we know afterwards though, use lipsticks or lip balms and then you're like, oh, my lips feel a bit tight. Oh, my lips feel really dry. It's not actually benefiting your lip at all. It's actually irritating your lip. So um, Dr. Sam recommended products again with squalene in and there is a new one by Medicaid. I have it here called um, mutiny and this is pat full of squalene I can 100% guarantee that this does not irritate my lips anyway we are all different I also love Lano lips um, I, um, the product is here I had a pink one I'm sure I used it. it was in a bullet like a lipstick bullet but it was limited edition um, and I quite liked having the Lano lips in the bullet because it just kind of felt quite hygienic Again, obviously, if you're allergic to lanolin, I'm sure you'll know if you are allergic to lanolin because you kind of discover it quite early on in life, I think. If you're not, then this is a brilliant product um, to use on your lips too so that you don't kind of cause any irritation, anything like a Carmex or a Blistex or anything with peppermint in or anything that gives instant satisfaction, let me tell you, on your lips. So you go, mmm, nice. 
let me tell you, in a few hours, you'll be like, oh, I need more of it, I need more of it. It's like a drug because it obviously dehydrates your lips and irritates it, so they demand more. So actually what you want is just something like the products that I've listed below. Nipple creams as well are also fantastic. Um, but I'll list those in the box for you and you'll be able to see those. So I think, again, it's just really, really important that if we are tired and stressed and under pressure and putting something foreign on our face, it is and quite possibly going to irritate our skin. So just take back, just put to the shelf all maybe the wonderful anti-aging products. Really, really focus on boosting your hydration. Maybe you've got some nice masks that you haven't used for a while um, and just focus on really, really hydrating your skin to the best possible way. If you do find that you've got the sore marks where the elastic is behind your ear or across here, I asked Dr. Sam what would be the best barrier cream maybe to put on um, at night or maybe just before you go to work to sort of stop the friction, but also you want to make sure that you keep the mask on nice and tight as well. So it's, you know, it's, it's a fine line really, isn't it? So there are two barrier creams that um, Dr. Sam recommended. One is by La Roche Posay. La Roche Posay, um, and it's called Sycoplast. Um, I'm sure you are familiar with this product. Um, you can use it on lips. They've got a few different variations, and this is the B5 Balm, and that's a really, really great purchase. I mean, you can use it on babies. It's really super clean, um, and again, very restorative, helping to um, reinvigorate and heal the moisture barrier of your skin. And the second one is from Aven, and that is called Sicel Fate. Maybe I'll try and write these at the bottom of the screen um, so that you can see, but they're all listed in the description box anyway. And again, that's another fantastic barrier cream. Um, and I just thought it was just um, good to know, actually, that sometimes when we are in a bit of a pickle, it's just quite nice just to kind of go, right, if anything's irritating my skin, I'm just going to go back to basics and focus on hydration. And that should really, really bring your skin back to ground zero. And then if you're anything like me, if your skin's all right, I've got a few little pimples here, which is, uh, I suppose, in for a penny, in for a pound, you know? It's not bad to get a few spots. Hands as well. Um, there are two products that I've been really loving. Some um, hand creams, um, uh, I, I feel a bit like, like they're like a sticky glove. Um, not with this one. This is a company called Balance Me, and it's their super moisturising hand cream. You can get it from Waitrose drugstores there online. Drugstores chemists um, and this is really nice I don't feel like I need to wash my hands afterwards and I've got one in my downstairs toilet and one by my sink as well um, because I just try and put it on all the time otherwise my hands are dry enough as they are so that has really helped and this is such a nice treat nails ink thirsty hands they're gloves um, for tired um, for dry tired skin and you put them on um, and they are just such such a nice little gift actually for someone because all of us have got dry hands right now and that's kind of really fun and they really work actually. Um, if you don't want to purchase anything new, you could actually do it yourself and put some lots of moisture, put some oil on your hand first, then put some moisturiser on and then wrap your hands up in cling film and then put them in hot towels. Mm, that just helps the hydration really kind of absorb into the skin. And I have to say, and I'm sure many of you do this, but actually putting on creams on your hands just before you turn the light out and go to sleep, that's a great time because, you know, it just obviously leaves your hands with lots and lots of hydration on before you go to bed. But if you're anything like me, you've probably got lots of different things all sorted around the bedside table that don't often get used. Various vitamins, um, eyelash enhancement, um, hand cream, but yeah, I don't show you what's around there. None of them get used. They're getting dusty. I probably need to give them a little bit of a spring clean. Probably need to do quite a lot of things around my house, but I have no inclination, which is really annoying because I just thought, good, I can use all this time to get all those jobs done. Pretty much haven't ticked anything off the list yet. Um, just to kind of lighten the mood and just talk about makeup, because that's why I'm here. Um, I do love like a caramel skin and a kind of nudie look, but pink is my savior at the moment. Pink is making me happy um, and my lipstick is Velvet Beauty and she is a beauty. Um, Lisa Eldridge's beautiful lipstick. I hope you agree it's nice. It's just a very classic pink but it's just the wearability of this lipstick I just love. It is um, 
soft, comforting, hydrating, and I can't really feel it on my lips. And I have a bit of a thing about um, having the sensation of makeup on my face. I don't like it. I'd rather scrub it off and not have it on if I can feel it on my face. Um, so this lipstick is so pleasant to wear. And I've teamed it with a trusty e.l.f. eyeshadow in rose water. Um, that's the sort of slightly lighter one that I did the other day. Let me just take that plastic off. Again, sort of really just sort of pretty, lovely colours. And I've just used that one on the lid and just a little bit on the on the socket here just to kind of open my eyes out a little bit. And by Terry, I've got this beautiful new palette and it's called Sunny Flash. It's a brightening palette. And these guys, sorry, doing it backwards. This one and this one, the two pinks, let's keep it simple, um, are keeping me um, in line with my little pink cheeks. So I put the brown one there just for a little bit of contour and flush the lips with this and give it a little bit of accent just on the apples. I know it's a bit high maintenance, but it does take about 10 seconds. But it's a really, really beautiful, beautiful palette by, by Terry. And my lovely nails by Nails Inc. Again, I'm obsessed with Nails Inc. And I want to show you the shade. But I think my little son has been in here and he might be putting it on himself. So I'll list the colour in the description box. I hope that information helps. Um, if you can pass it on to someone who needs it, that would be wonderful. And um, take care of yourselves, everyone. And I will be seeing you next week and um, look forward to all the comments. Take care, everyone.